Hello everybody, this is Jandy the Artsy Rose, and welcome back to Leo's main story. We are about to proceed on to chapter 2. Last we left off, Leo had the nerve to kiss Princess Isabella. One week had passed since Leo, the king of the blazing land of Muspelium, arrived. During this time, I'd become good friends with Sert, and we would take a walk, and we would take a walk together every day. Sert, this way! <laughs> His red tail wagged happily as he ran. <laughs> I asked the knowledgeable JJ about him, and he told me that Sir was a fire wolf. I don't have much time to spend. I don't have much time. I don't have much time to spend with you today. There is going to be a dessert buffet. There is going to be a dessert buffet party at the castle this afternoon. I've been invited. I can't. What kind of sweets would be served there? When I arrived, Leo was there waiting for us. <laughs> sir, leave time. Welcome back, sir. Leo always shows him such a gentle smile. Why are you staring at me so passionately? Would you rather be marrying me than Jean know? No way! My voice came out louder than I admitted to, and Sir looked at me in surprise. Let me be clear, I still haven't forgiven you for that kiss you forced on me. You're making such a big deal out of it. A big deal? I guess you don't understand just how important how important of a thing a kiss is to a girl. I can't believe you'd kiss me just to make the king mad. Although since he's such a kind-hearted man, he let you off after he let you off after only destroying half of the throne room. Just then, Sunny showed up. Princess, I see you're back. The party is starting soon. Leah, we would be honored for you to join us too. And how about you, Sir? Sir shook his head to answer. shook his head and answered to Sunny's question. Looks like he's not coming. That might be a wise decision. Is this not going to be a regular party? Wow! When we arrived in the castle's dining room, the table was laden with an array of multicolored desserts. Oh, Jenny, there you are. What do you think? After all these colorful sweets, aren't all these colorful sweets amazing? Yes, it's like I have wandered into a cotton candy dreamland, dream world. We've got all the kingdom's famed desserts, and of course, they don't just stand out in terms of looks, but also taste. Alice's tea, chuffin cake, glittering golden stardust jelly, moon macarons. I recommend everything in this area. I don't know which one to start with. So much sickly sweet stuff. Oh, your highness, you invited the king of Mospolium too? I thought you said you didn't want to see his face for a good while. A man like me is not so petty. After you so agitated? Now that I've thought more on it, I feel sorry for Leo. What? While I have a lovely fiance, Leo doesn't even have a girlfriend. He had come all the way over and he had to come all the way here to look for a bride. And all I Sert isn't a dog, he's a firewolf! Jandy is so attractive. He can't be blamed for wanting to kiss her. Oh, but don't you dare touch her again. Don't act so arrogant just because you have a fiancé. You probably forced her into it. That's an abuse of your authority as king. What?! Now, now, that's enough fighting. That's right. Do you know how much Count Minipans and I have been looking forward to today? I haven't been looking forward to anything. <laughs> I wonder if Orlando actually likes sweets sweet things. I won't allow anyone to sabotage this party, not even the king. If so, I'll feed them to the dragons of the Lake of Nivalham. Sunny's emitting blue-white sparks. Uh, okay, don't get angry, Sunny. Leo and I are best buddies, right? Aww. Come on, say something! I can't wait any longer. Come on, let's eat. Everyone is here. Everyone. Everyone. 
It is, uh, this is your last meal. I called out to Leah, who was still scowling. Come on, you too. You might as well enjoy the party. Parties are for weaklings. Oh, that's not true. I'll choose something I think you'll like. Let me see. Hmm. Darkest Night Chocolate. How about this? It looks delicious. It's called Darkest Night Chocolate. I can't imagine what it tastes like. Leah took a piece of chocolate and tossed it into his mouth. Not bad. Yay! I'll try some too. Munch. Mmm. Yeah, the slight bitterness is really nice. I ate a whole bar of this. Wh what? I can't believe someone can look so happy over a piece of chocolate. You're a carefree person. Sweet things bring people joy. As we were all enjoying the peaceful party together. Ta-da! <laughs> Skeletono. Skeletono and a tall young man appeared, both pushing tea, tri tea charts. I will be right back. Honey candy. How about this? It smells really sweet. I've never seen these before in Lost Volume. I'll give one a try. Leah picked up a candy and tossed it into his mouth. What's the matter? What the heck is this? It's too sweet. It's about to rot my throat out. Oh, that's a candy for only those with the sweetest tooth. It's basically a lump of sweetness. The ultimate weapon of sweets. <laughs> you should have said so earlier! As we were all enjoying ourselves. As we were all enjoying the peaceful party together. I will be right back. My apologies for the wait. It's now time for me to unveil today's extra special main dish. I even enlisted the help of the great wizard in its creation. The contents of the, tar of the chart of the card are hidden by a lazy cloth. Is there something special under there? Hello there. The tall man, the great wizard, waved cordially. Cordially. Today's special menu is magic. Something of a French word. I can't. I can't pronounce it. He whipped the lace cloth away dramatically to reveal a mountain of cream puffs. Cheers filled the, the party hall. What do you think? Doesn't just look. Doesn't just looking at it make you want to leap at it and devour it? There are at least 100 cream puffs in this tower. And this. This is no ordinary dessert. Most of them are regular cream puffs, but mixed in with them are little magic puffs. Magic puffs? Magical puffs? Oh, don't worry. They're all filled with, cre with sweet cream. There's nothing sour or bitter. I can imagine what they are. Sounds like something His Highness would come up with. With the great wizard involved, something like this smells fishy. Now everyone, help yourselves to at least one. Oh boy, we're in for... This will be interesting. <laughs> I am Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>